In this second part of tutorial 1, I will continue crochet beautiful bunny hat for kids. Here I moved the side dividers to our last round and marked the decrease stitches with it. I also marked the places where I'm going to begin crocheting the left ear. Let me show you how I did it. Here the back of the hat is facing me, so on the back skip 12 double crochet stitches away from the decrease stitch and place the next divider between the 12th and 13th stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Here is my next divider. Then turn the work and do the same on the front of our hat. Skip 12 stitches away from the decrease stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And place the divider between the 12th and 13th stitches. Begin the work on the back. Here with the divider on this side, I marked the place where I'm going to begin crochet the left ear. We need to join new yarn to work. Use the same color, insert the hook through the double crochet that is to the left of the divider. Grab the working yarn and pull it through. Then chain 3 to bring up the yarn and begin the first round. And double crochet 8 in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and the last double eight. Here in previous round we have three double crochet stitches before the decrease stitch. So work the decrease of three stitches to one. Work double crochet three together. For this begin the first double through the next stitch. Do not complete this double. Hold two loops on the hook. Then Begin the second double through the next stitch. Do not complete it as well. Hold three loops on the hook and work the last third double through the next stitch. Work until you have four loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through four. The decrease stitch is made. Then continue double crochet through an inch of next ten stitches. The first double I'm working through the next decrease stitch. With each next round I will be moving the divider up to mark the stitches above this decrease stitch. Work do not skip any stitches in previous round. Work through following stitches. 4 5 Six, seven, eight, nine, and the last double ten. Again here in previous round before the next divider we have three stitches. Work the decrease of these three stitches to one. Work double crochet three together. Double crochet through the first stitch until you have two loops on the hook. Then begin the next double through the next stitch. Work until you have three loops on the hook. Again double crochet through the next stitch. Work until you have four loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through four. Decrease stitches made. To complete this round, make a slip stitch through the third chain stitch on this round. One, two, three. Slip stitches made. 
Now begin the second round. Chain three to bring up the yarn. One, two, three. And double crochet through an eighth stitch on previous round. Work till the end of this round. There should be 20 double crochet stitches. Continue. Here I'm about to complete the second round. Double crochet through the last two stitches. One and And the last double, two, and make a slip stitch through the third chain stitch, top chain stitch. The third round work the same, chain three up, one, two, three, and double crochet through an eighth stitch across. Work till the end of this round. And continue. Now let's complete this third round. Double crochet through the last two stitches. And make a slip stitch through the third chain stitch from the beginning of this round. Now begin round four. Make three chain stitches up one, two, three, and double crochet through an each of next eight stitches. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last double eight. Here you can see I moved the divider up and marked that double crochet that is made into the decrease stitch. So here before the ring, we have one stitch. Through the stitch work double crochet and double crochet one more time into the same stitch. So I made two double crochet stitches into the same stitch. Then continue double crochet through an edge of next 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and the last double ten. Till the end of this round, we have one double crochet on previous round. Increase this last stitch to two stitches. Double crochet two times into the same stitch. I made one and work the same double into the same stitch. Now complete the round by making a slip stitch through the top third chain stitch. Now Begin round five. Make three chain stitches up, two, three, and work a round of double crochet stitches, double crochet through an each stitch on previous round. Here 
Keep working, complete this fifth round and make seven more rounds of double crochet stitches. Do not increase or decrease stitches. Here I'm about to complete round 12. I remind you that from the round 5 and all the way till the round 12 I worked double crochet stitches. Round 12 is completed. Now begin round 13, chain 3 to bring up the yarn and double crochet 8 in a row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, and the last double, eight. Here, as you can see, with the divider, I marked the double that goes right above the decrease stitch on our first round. We have two stitches before this double. Work double crochet two together. Three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through three, decrease stitches made, then double crochet ten in a row, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last double ten. And through the last two stitches, work double crochet two together. Begin the first double, work until you have two loops on the hook, then work the last double through the next stitch. Three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through three. Complete the round by making a slip stitch through the third chain stitch. Now begin round 14. Make three chain stitches up, one, two, and three, and double crochet seven in a row. One, two, three, four, Five, six, and seven. Here, let's move this divider up to clearly see the side stitch here. Here we have two stitches to reach the side stitch. Through these two stitches, work double crochet two together. Begin the first double, work it like you would until you have two loops on the hook, then work the second double through the next stitch, work until you have three loops on the hook, then yarn over and pull through three. Decrease stitches made. Turn a little and double crochet through in each of next nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight and the last double nine then through the last two stitches double crochet two together begin the first double do not complete it and work the second double through the next stitch do not complete it as well three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through three decrease stitches made then make a slip stitch through the top chain stitch to complete the round now work the last round round 15 chain three to bring up the yarn one two three then double crochet six one two three four five and six then double crochet two together work the first double through the next stitch do not complete it and the next double through the next stitch do not complete it three loops on the hook yarn over pull through three then double crochet eight one two three four five six two more seven and the last one eight and again double crochet two together one and the second one and make them together yarn over pull through three now make a slip stitch through the third chain stitch round 15 is made here i almost done with the left ear now cut the yarn leaving a tail about 20 centimeters long and continue working with the tapestry needle i thread the yarn into the yarn needle to secure the end of our work insert the needle through the loop and pull the yarn all the way through tighten the end and now with the needle pick up front loop of each second stitch on this last round pick up the front loop of the first stitch then skip the next one and pick up the front loop of the second stitch work in this way till the end then pull the yarn all the way through this loops and continue the same pick up the front loop of each second stitch and here is the front loop of the last stitch now pull the yarn tail tightly to close this space and to secure i will make one more stitch here like this and now pass the yarn tail inside of our ear so then we can hide the tail on the wrong side our left ear is ready now we need to crochet the right ear following the same pattern starting the work on the front part of our hat in part 3 tutorial 1 i will continue the work and complete the project thank you so much for watching